Hi guys, welcome back to another Friday, Faves and Fails. I know I told you I was going to have loads more TV recommendations this week. I don't know what to tell you, I'm going to start with that because I can't stop watching Scandal. I actually had Marvin Gaye, um, You're All I Need to Get By. Marvin Gaye and, hang on, I should really say because I always think Marvin Gaye, but there are two people that sing that song. Tammy Terrell. Tammy Terrell or Terrell? Terrell, I'm going to say. Um, You're All I Need to Get By. I have had that song in my head forever because it's like a, a poignant Scandal song. And then I was in the car, I was listening to a different Scandal song. What was I listening to? I was listening to um, Stevie Wonder. What was the song called? Don't you worry about a thing. Um, and then my phone will just kind of like play me the next song, the next song, the next song. And a few songs in, it played me. You're all I need to get by. I swear, I hadn't even played it. I just had it in my head. It was the weirdest thing. It's like in my mind. Um, anyway, I found a way to work it into a reel. And I've just been laughing to myself about it which is ridiculous. So I just had my hair done. I'm filming these videos in a weird order. So you may have already seen this on Wednesday, but I'm filming this video first. So this is fresh for me. And um, I did a reel of my new hair and put that song in. And I'm telling you this because for no reason other than it, it made me laugh. Also because it's Scandal related. To bring it back, um, I've literally just been watching Scandal. Scandal and we're still re-watching The Office of an evening. Um, I'm nearly finished, I promise, I promise. But I've also been playing Zelda again from the very beginning. I got two Zelda games because I lost the first one and I couldn't be without it, so I purchased another one. I found the original and so I had a spare. My brother was asking if I, he had any games that his girlfriend could borrow and I gave her that. So we've been talking about it and I'm like, I've got to play the game again. It's amazing, it's such a good game. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Wild? Breath of the Wind? Breath of the Wild? I feel like I don't even know what the name of the thing is now. I think it's Breath of the Wild. The one that's like amazing graphics on Switch. Um, and it's so immersive, that game. It really, I just, every moment of the day, I want to play it. And so, not a lot to recommend. Um, but as soon as I finish Scandal, I will also be listening again to one of my favourite, favourite audiobooks, which is Year of Yes. I think that's what it's called. Um, by Shonda Rhimes, who writes... Scandal, Grey's Anatomy, How to Get Away with Murder. Um, her production company also made Bridgerton. So if you're interested in any of those things, especially if you like the way that the characters talk, that very kind of like preachy, speechy kind of, um, everything's like a soliloquy and I love it. Uh, and if you like that, you will probably very enjoy, or very much enjoy um, Shonda's cadence because she speaks in the way her characters speak. Um, so there's some, you know, a smattering of recommendations for you, entertainment-wise. I'm also going to quickly tell you about a snack that I've been absolutely obsessed with. I think this is probably super terrible for the environment because it's individually wrapped. But I have to tell you about it because I can't stop eating them. These are my favourite biscuits anyway. They're the Borders Dark Chocolate Biscuits. And they usually come in like a packet, the thicker, round biscuits. I love them. Have loved them for quite some years. But I can't have them because I like to keep them in the fridge because I like chocolate to be in the fridge. I also like them to be super, super crisp. So in an ideal world, what I would do is I would open them and I would put them in an airtight container that only I had access to. And then I would have a biscuit or two at a time until they were finished. Now, what actually happens is they come in a thing where it's got a lid and I can put it with the lid on and that's okay. For a few days, they'll be crisp enough. But someone else goes in, like Milo, takes a biscuit, leaves the lid off, and then they're all soft and it ruins my life. So that's why these are amazing. They're also amazing because the ratio of biscuit to chocolate is fantastic. I'm gonna open it and show you because I'm gonna eat it as soon as I finish filming this video. So good. It's like a, a thin. Look at this. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. I've said it before, I'm not a massive sweet tooth. I'm not really big on kind of lots of chocolate bars and stuff. Um, it does make a big thing on the packaging about how many calories it is per one. I do just want to say that's not diet food. <laughs> I'm not buying them specifically because it says like how many calories per whatever, um, purely for the crisp and freshness. But I do acknowledge that it's not great for the environment. Um, right, moving on to my, I think, one disappointment. This is perplexing me is the Aroma Active Soothing Body and Face Cleanser. Now I'm going to talk about the packaging as a major fail anyway. So number one, um, it's like a paper 
outer thing, which again, probably better for the environment. I don't know about the plastic bottle that it's in, but this is like a paper and I leave it in my shower. And even if you just left it in a steamy bathroom, I think it would not be great. It's just kind of like all flaking away. Every time you hold it with a wet hand, it's just, it's got bits. It's not great, not fantastically thought out packaging. Um, another reason, I'm just looking to see if I've got a cloth to wipe this off with in a second, but another reason I really, really dislike this packaging, and I don't know if this is mine specifically or what, but that's how much you get out. <laughs> that's four pumps of product, and this is a cleanser. So I've hardly ever used this for that reason alone, because it's just impossible. Like, I'm in the shower and I'm like, oh, like, I don't, ugh, I don't have time for this. How long is it going to take to get enough cleanser to actually cleanse my face? Um, and I think it's actually, yeah, soothing body and face cleanser. I mean, I'd, it would be a very long shower if I tried to cleanse my entire body with pump, 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 tiny little droplets. So that was the main reason that I wanted to um, say it's been a fail, because I like the product in theory. It's got a very, very strong herbal lavender fragrance it says blue tansy and mortel lavender and patchouli that's what the aroma is it also says it's got glyco glycolipids and oat kernel oil so it's supposed to soothe um dry irritated skin and it, it smells nice but i can never get enough out of the packaging anyway and as i went to reach for it just to talk about the packaging specifically i kind of had a bit of a light bulb moment. When I first got it, I used it a few times and I'd forgotten about this, but I kind of put it down to one of the breakouts that I'd had. And I haven't had any breakouts for a little while because I've been using various things um, after ha hair plucking and stuff that kind of make sure that I don't break out from anything like that. In fact, I, I haven't had any real, real breakouts in a couple of months. And so I hadn't really, it just wasn't on my mind. And I used that quite a few times in the past week. And I've got loads, of, from, by my standards, loads of breakouts around my chin. I've got two or three little spots here, two or three little spots here. I've got some here in a weird way. So I was thinking, is it hormonal? But it's also up here. I don't know what's going on. And I now think it was that. And I don't know if it's the fragrance or what, but I'm just, this is not for me. I'm gonna just use it to shave my legs. I'm gonna put it in the bathroom so that I can actually pour it out into my hand, shave my legs. It's not something that I'm gonna use in the shower. It's not something I'm gonna use on my face now. So throwing it out there but would love to know if you guys have tried that and had similar experiences some old favorites none of these are new just they're not or some old favorites this i've mentioned before but i like about these friday favorites i can kind of bring things back up again like you're not going to see every single one you may not have heard me talk about this before and it's something that i use all the time it's the main and tail detangler it's it's nothing special it doesn't smell particularly amazing but it's really really effective my hair is fine. I've got lots of hair, but it's really, really thin and very, very tangly. So I need a detangler. It doesn't matter pretty much what I use. I mean, the Wonder Water. Maybe when I use the Wonder Water, less so. But pretty much anything else, it doesn't matter if I use conditioner or not. I will always need a detangling spray. I don't like to use oils and things because like, my hair can be quite easily weighed down because it's fine. But that is really, really, really good. You get a lot of product and I think it's quite cost effective. So would recommend. Um, this I've been wearing quite a lot recently. It's the Laura Mercier Ombre Vanille. I originally purchased this, and this is going to sound completely nuts and very bougie. Am I, like, really turned up, this light? Hang on. Oh, no, we could, we could be brighter. No, it's turned all the way down, so, hmm. Let me zoom you in. Maybe this will work better. We need to get the product further away for it to actually <laughs> zoom in. Um, it's a Laura Mercier, um, fragrance. It's one of their gourmand fragrances so they do like a coconut one of vanilla i'm a big fan of their bath and body products but they are very expensive and so eventually i purchased the perfume and what's going to seem extraordinarily bougie about this is i considered this to be a bedtime fragrance i thought it was kind of like a little bit not necessarily sensual but it kind of made me feel nice and um you know this in the same way that if you were wearing really nice kind of silk pajamas I can only imagine because they're on my dream wish list. I'd like some silk pajamas, but they're like next level bougie. They are so expensive and I will ruin them. <laughs> ruin them. I will definitely spill coffee down them. I will put them in the washing machine, I'll ruin them. And so that's why I don't have silk pajamas. But you know, like that kind of vibe when you're watching, let's say again, Scandal or um, Suits, loved all of Rachel's loungewear, loved all of Liv's loungewear. That kind of like cashmere, silk, 
laying around the house kind of thing. This is that fragrance to me. This is like, just imagine, I mean, it's very, it is very foodie, which is unusual for me to like, but there's something, I think because it's such a luxurious lotion that maybe that's what I'm associating. Whenever I've used the lotion, it's felt ooh, like a little bit special. And so that's what the fragrance is to me. I wouldn't wear this in the day. It, <laughs> I wouldn't wear this in the day. I wear it around the house after I get out of the shower. Sometimes I'll put on nice pajamas and spritz this on. And this sounds ridiculous, I realise. But that is true fact. This is something that I do occasionally. And I suppose it's self-care. It's something that, especially in the times that we've been in, where we couldn't really, like, do ourselves up and make ourselves feel nice, go out, um, I kind of shushed myself up in my pyjamas. <laughs> Apparently. You know, I said there were no new favourites, but there is, kind of. This is newish. The John Freezer Freezer John Frieda Frizzies Secret Agent Touch Up Cream. This is great. Talking over my hair being weighed down does not weigh down my hair at all. It's like a very lightweight lotion. Nothing like it's not a serum. It's not an oil. It's I'll show you what it is. It is a a, a lotion. It's like um a very lightweight lotion, just like a a nothingness, but it's enough. So if I've curled my hair or if I've straightened it and it feels kind of like a little bit all over the place, I'll just put a little bit through. In fact, let me just put, although I have literally just left the hairdressers, I'll just put the very smallest amount. And it kind of adds a little bit of shine, especially when I've curled it. The other day, Ella had her hair done, which was a big deal. She went very, very dark from being kind of like, she was kind of this colour naturally. Um, and then she went super, super dark. So it was a big deal. She got home, it had rained. So then I curled it for her and put a little bit of this through the ends. She was dead against it. Like, don't put anything in my hair. It's going to make it greasy. I showed her what it was. She was like, no, this is just my relationship with Ella. I recommend things. She fights me. She eventually realizes mum is right. Um, and this is one of those things. I put it in her hair and immediately she was like, okay, I'm going to need one of those for myself because it just... Everything that you hate about all of the products that you try and put in your hair, if you've got oily hair, you will love about this. It's fantastic. And it is actually for flyaways. You're supposed to be able to put it up here. Occasionally I will. Occasionally. But I am still nervous of that. So it's more kind of like here down. And definitely if I was like curls or if I'd done, um, if I'd straightened my hair and I just kind of wanted to do the ends. Perfect. Look at this. The Naked 2 palette. Is the Naked 2 palette still available? I know they got rid of the original. But is the Naked 2 still available? I don't know, I've still got my original. I've got my original original. Is it in here? No, it's not. Um, the, like the velvet one that came with the pencil. I think I've still got the pencil. Have I still got the <laughs> I really do think I've got it somewhere. Um, but the Naked 2 palette, it like completely passed me by at the time. I've had it, it's barely used, look at this. The use you can see in this palette is basically me in the last week. Um, it's barely been used, but I <laughs> stupidly realized that I kept complaining about everything being too warm. Every single neutral palette that came out was just, everything's like peach, not even peach, I like peach, more like orange. Everything's like a rust color now. Really, really warm and that's not cute on my eyes at all. Never liked the Naked 3, that kind of rose gold, not for me. Um, I kind of wanted like the satin taupe. So I've got two eyeshadows here from MAC and I would say, I would consider this one, which is woodwinked. Again, this flipping light, woodwinked. This is kind of like a neutral. I like this. This is a nice bronzy neutral. This is this colour. So this is kind of like a neutral bronze. And I wanted some more of these, which are kind of much, much cooler. I like this. This is a perfect kind of bronze. I don't like, like a warm, warm, hang on. I don't like this kind of, this drives me crazy about. I get things stuck underneath my nail, like between my acrylic and my actual nail, there's like a little black dot and I can't get to it anyway. Let's move on. So these are the three. This is kind of like the neutral bronze in my world. This is obviously a cool and this is much, much warmer. This is not cute on me. I like this kind of thing. And this I'm kind of getting into now because I'm almost rebounding from this. There's just so much of the warmth. And I was kind of looking and looking and I went through my collection the other day, reorganizing everything. And I saw the Naked 2 and thought, mm, opened it up and was like, how have I not been using this the whole time? And it's, there's so much here. There's so much here. Just refuse to ever buy another eyeshadow palette because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I shouldn't possibly ever need another one ever. Two other things um, that I'm, both of which I'm actually wearing today. Hula Light, 
from Benefit, which is the paler version, the paler sister of the original Hula. Um, you wouldn't think necessarily that this is Hula White, but it is. Abby's pale. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got that on. I actually also have got dim light, which sometimes adds a little bit more warmth than you would think. Dim light from Hourglass. And I've got that. I'll show you where. Kind of here. I like to put it there, there, down my nose, and there. That's where I like dim light. Just kind of like diffuse. Sometimes up here. Beautiful. Um, and I mentioned this last week, Urban Decay Wallflower. This is one of their lip pencils. I'm back into lip pencils in a big way. Lip pencils alone, especially under a mask. I don't know why we won't do, I mean, I know why I wasn't because I went through a slump of, I do not care about what I look like. I went through a whole, I don't know if it was a self-esteem thing or what, but I just gave up on myself <laughs> through the pandemic. Um, it was very like, I'm just a tracksuit person now. Tracksuit people don't need to wear makeup, definitely don't need to wear eyeliner, lip liner even. Um, but I love, Urban Decay lip liners, they are definitely my favourite. I do really like that one Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, but the actual texture of these is my all-time favourite, and Wallflower is what I'm wearing right now. Gorgeous 90s nude. Um, I think that was it in terms of makeup, and I had one last thing that I wanted to talk about, which is specifically for my fake nail girls. If you've got acrylics and you cannot itch yourself, because I am so itchy at the moment. Everything, I'm like, oh my God, so itchy, so itchy. Right, so this, you can get these from all over the place. It's just like a rough knit. This is an Ameliorate one that was sent to me years ago. Um, it's kind of concerning because I have nothing on my arm, although I was out in the garden the other day and I got a little bit pink. Um, but I have nothing on my arm. There's no, there's nothing. There's no reason for anything. And I just did this. And is this dead skin or what? Terrific. So it's basically like a textured exfoliating mitt. And for those of you who, for whatever reason, cannot scratch or just want an exfoliating mitt, this is like magic. I have this next to the bed because especially, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because my, I take my baths too hot and the weather's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I'm moisturising like a crazy person. I've also been trying a lot of different exfoliating lotions, which you will have seen a video on uh, this past Wednesday, but I've been trying a lot of different things like that, so maybe that's part of it, because I'm just absolutely cannot, I, there's no amount of exfoliation or scratching that will relieve the itching, um, specifically on my legs, but sometimes on my arms and elsewhere, oh, it feels so soft now, uh, as well, but I'm just putting it out there, these mitts are amazing, you can get them from all over the place, just like exfoliating mitt, it's really, really thin, crepey material, you can put it in the washing machine, and if you cannot scratch yourself, or better still, if you're one of those people like me who you potentially will itch until you bleed, like it's a good job I didn't have eczema because I would absolutely have done that. I'm like, if I, like I'll get Lee to scratch my back. He's concerned. He's like, I can't scratch your back anymore. It looks like it's hurting you. I'm like it's not, just keep scratching my back. I would never, ever, ever stop. I would definitely scratch until I bled if my skin was that sensitive. Um, so if, you know, you are also like me, that might possibly stop you. It gives you a really good, it is a really good scratch, um, but in more of a skincare exfoliating way. Anyway, that is it for today's Friday Faves and Fails. I feel like that was a long one. We had a lot to talk about, loads of different products. Um, as, as always, I'll try and remember to um, link everything for you below. I just thought this out of the corner of my eye that I get to eat now. And um, I will see you guys on Sunday with a B&M shop with me.